So most of you may now be aware of this show called MILF Manor, and I must say it is the most degenerate piece of shit I have ever seen. It is... So the format is basically these women go onto an island, and I'm assuming they're single women, I would hope so. They're aged between 40 and 60. The eldest we've seen is 59, so I'm assuming it's 40 and 60. Any older, and that's just... You just, you know, there's going to be cobwebs down there, so let's not even bother. But the format of the show is these elderly women go to an island in a house, a lovely house in Mexico, and they are then dating these young studs between 20 and 30, I believe. And so the whole point of this show is to have a mature woman hook up or date a younger man. Now, I have no problem with this if they're both over the age of 18, you know, it's legal. Not necessarily ethical, but it is, of course, legal. I think anybody, whether it's an older man and a younger woman or an older woman and a younger man, I think you should have to date whoever you can date, you know, because that tends to be a personality thing. It depends on, there are women I've dated that are far older than me and, you know, that's fine. It, it just depends on how, what, you know, who you are personally and how you behave. The whole point of this show is, of course, they date. And the twist is that all of the men that are on that island are the sons of the mothers. Yes, you heard me. The dating pool for the women are each other's children. Now, they're, of course, over 18 years old. But this does make me wonder. Um, obviously, I don't like to comment on these sorts of things because it's a reality TV show, so we don't know how much of it is real and how much of it is manufactured. But one thing that does alarm me is how a lot of these they have challenges and a lot of these challenges are based around bling, being blindfolded and fondling each other now and there's a lot of alcohol so what it seems to be is that the producers are pushing these women to sort of become more intimate than they should do with not only men that are half their age but their own children now it, it, it's really, really uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> I would advise you don't watch it because it's pretty gross. I only watched an episode or two just to get full context for this video. But my goodness, it was just... These boys definitely have an Oedipus complex. It, it's, I'm, I'm, I don't see any sign of a father figure anywhere. And it shows. Because, you know, for, 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 for men to be into women that are double their age... There needs to be something going on with their mother. You know, it, it's not healthy. It's 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 tragic. And perfect example is that uh, Joe Joey, I believe his name is Joey or something like that. He's a stripper, male stripper. Now that's everything. That's all I need to tell you. You know, he's a male stripper. He's willing to get his body out to make some cash, which I don't think is exactly a very, you know, no man grows up idolizing their dad and going, do you know what? Yeah, dad, I want to be a stripper when I'm older. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a man do that. So. Unfortunately, this show tends to have all sorts of weird sort of challenges and it's very, very alarming that the men are just, they just get straight into it. There are these weird challenges about, you know, they need to blindfold themselves and they need to feel the boy's bodies to tell which one is or isn't their son. So basically they're, they're fondling their son's chest and crotch area or, 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 you know, wondering if that's actually their son. And it's just... It, it, at what point does it just become incest? <laughs> Where's the line? Uh, Jesus Christ. As a society, we have just... It's just pure degeneracy. It is disgusting. And I honestly, after the second episode, I felt kind of sick. It's horrible. It's disgusting. And I don't want to spend any more time talking about this utter fucking shit than I need to. I have far better things to do with my time. I have far better content to make for you guys. But the Lord of the Rings reviews are all done, and they're all set to come out. So uh, we're coming out over the next week. All of the Lord of the Rings videos will be out. But this show is just disgraceful, disgusting, and degenerate. The three Ds, the three Ds, the triple D. Well done, congratulations. But I, I <laughs> if you want to see me discuss this piece of shit further comment and like and let me know you're actually interested in this utter dog shit of a show and then maybe and then maybe i'll consider it if that's what you guys want to see but anyway those are my thoughts and objective views on this utter dumpster fire of a show i mean jesus christ 
hope you're all doing well. Take care. Fucking hell. Show is mental.